I think the demographic transition is an absolutely huge component of what constitutes development because it means it involves the decline in the death rate from a high to a low level. Uh, that leads to an increase in the rate of population growth and the population expands. Um, the next part of the demographic transition is the reduction in fertility, female fertility from high to low levels. Say before the transition when women were having six births and after the transition they'd have two or less. Um, and the demographic transition is also responsible for two uh, huge processes that are affecting the world. One is population aging which is caused by fertility decline first and foremost. So the world's population is getting older because the birth rate is coming down. Um, and the other major process is urbanization, the move from living overwhelmingly in rural areas to living in um, overwhelmingly urban areas. I've always been particularly interested in, uh, in the urban sector, essentially in town life, in urban life, the excitement of urban life. Um, I was struck um, a few years ago going to a, uh, a series of villages in rural Punjab in northern India and whereas the, the, the older farmers, men in their 40s, 50s and 60s were quite evidently very committed to agriculture, the, the younger people in the village, particularly the younger men, essentially they didn't want to be there they weren't interested uh, in, in food and agricultural production in the way in which the parental generation was. Uh, and I think that that's, um, that's an important issue. There's going to be reductions in the numbers of people that living in rural areas, and that will involve um, the numbers of farmers that there are. The main way in which the demographic transition is impacting the food system uh, essentially is an increase in demand. So you look at me, Tim Dyson, uh, you think I'm a terribly old person, but when I was born the total world population was about 2.5 billion. Today it's almost 7.5 billion. So there's been an enormous increase in a very short space of time, um, uh, 60, 65 years. Uh, now that means that more food has to be grown. Um, and that really has been and continues to be and will continue for several decades to be a, a major challenge for, for, for farming and, and agriculture. Population growth combined with economic growth is contributing towards uh, climate change essentially, global, global warming and climate change. And that of course itself has major implications for agriculture. So that's um, an important point to make.